This is Pokemon, a fun world filled with adventure, friendship, and cockfighting. Now, you may have come to this video because you love Pokemon, or you may have come to this video because you're just trying to figure out what the hey a pickle chew is after someone jumped your fence in order to capture one. Either way, by the end of this video, you'll be catching them all in no time. It all started with a guy in Japan named Satoshi Tajiri, who loved catching bugs as a kid and making their insignificant lives even less important by trading them with other kids for bottle caps or something. When he was older, he realized that because of the growth of cities, the children of the day weren't able to enjoy enslaving wildlife for their own twisted amusement like he was able to in his youth. And instead, they were sucked into video games. So instead of complaining about the good old days freed from doohickeys rotting the brains of innocent children, he made the kitties even worse by fusing the two hobbies into a Frankenstein of wasted time called Capsule Monsters. Full of his buds booted up a new game company called Game Freak, made some games that nobody cared about until he was ready to pitch his dream to Nintendo. Several times which they said no to until Satoshi's rich friend Shigeru Miyamoto pitched it and then magically everybody loved the idea and couldn't see why anybody would turn it down. <sighs> then, after six years of development, near bankruptcy, an identity crisis, and 14 years of therapy, the games Pocket Monsters Red and Pocket Monsters Green were ready for release in early 1996. The game consisted of roaming around a region, finding wild animals called Pokemon, and fighting them with the other kids until one of them was beaten senseless. As homage to the origins of the game, one of the devs made sure that the game was swarmed with bugs. He did this by putting in an extra Pokemon, after they had finished bug testing, which wasn't even accessible in-game, making the whole sacrifice worthless. Worthless, that is, until they gave away 20 of the literal embryos away in a magazine competition. Most of the entries got a view, as there were only 78,000 entries. You see, before people knew about Mew, people didn't really care all that much about this newfangled series. But as soon as plausible bragging rights were in sight, the video game scene exploded. Thus concludes the history of the franchise that would go on to conquer the world. Sure, I could cover the 20 years of in-between as well, but I would like to finish this video before Pokemon's 30th anniversary. That or before they get Pokemon Go to run smoothly.